Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about a few command line arguments to get log that I use relatively often. Um, this was actually a question that was asked in chat, which is, you know, I use merge workflow. How do I, you know, not see all of the annoying merges? And I'll, I'll show you the commands that I use for that. So let's jump into it. So today we're, we're in the pre-commit repository. I've pre-cloned it before this because we don't need to see that. Um, and I'm just going to show you what git log looks like out of the box without any special settings here. Although I think I might have some setting that enables this part here, which is part of the decorate option of git log. So, you know, git log dash dash decorate. Um, and that's actually the first option that we're going to talk about today. Decorate uh, shows the branches here and it'll also show tags if we go back for an far enough yeah so you can see here like here's a tag and it will also annotate the commit with that tag so that's get log dash decorate but that's not what we're talking about today what we want to talk about today is the um the, the way to ignore non-mainline commits and in order to visualize this let's start by uh switching from get log to get log dash one line uh this will give us you know a much more compact view and you'll notice here that I'm on my default branch, which in this case is named master. And these merge commits are actually the only mainline commits here. There are other commits that happened on the branches itself, uh, but they're kind of muddled in with all of these other merge commits. And this becomes more apparent when we change from one line to the graph view. And this is dash dash graph. And the graph view will show you, you know, how, how the actual branches forked off and joined in. And so you can see here, like, you know, this, this branch forked off, there was one commit made here, and then it was merged at this point. Uh, whereas, like, this branch here was forked here, a uh, commit was made here, and then uh, was merged over here. And so this is, you know, it gives you a more accurate view of how the merges and commits happened. Uh, but again, like, there's there's still a lot of noise here, and it's kind of hard to see. Um, almost all of these cases are are ones where there's like one commit on a separate branch and then immediately merge. So it's a little bit simpler here. Um, but we can actually remove all of those non-merge commits, non-mainline commits, by doing dash dash first parent instead. And actually, if we keep graph here, you'll see, oops, graph. Uh, you'll see that these are all mainline commits. There's no longer any branching out here. And we get exactly what we were looking for before. So it gives us all, all of these merge commits, and these are just the commits that are on the mainline. You'll notice here that this is not a merge commit. Usually when I make a tagged release, I do the commit directly to the main branch. And so I'm not actually, you know, I'm not actually making a pull request for that. There's no merge commit present for that. Uh, but anyway, I use this, uh, just to show the command again, I use this dash dash first parent quite a lot. And... Uh, it's, it's useful for visualizing code, whether or not you're using merge or rebase workflow. Um, I prefer merge workflow myself, uh, but that's just me. But anyway, hopefully this is useful. Hopefully you can take this command and, you know, get some more insight into your Git history yourself. Uh, but if you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.